That is a beautiful ship. Look at that. And it's all yours completely free. An S-Class exotic completely free. I love it. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And today I'm going to show you how to get an amazing blue exotic. And the biggest thing is you don't need any money at all. This is totally free. You just need to have a portal and all the glyphs. If you don't know how to do that, as always, the link up top and down below in the description on how to find any portal and find all the glyphs. It's a little bit of work, but once you've unlocked them, you're good to go. So I want to give credit where credit is due. And actually, you know, I always go over to the NMS coordinates exchange over on Reddit, the NMS coordinates exchange for No Man's Sky. But I saw a post for, from Double Dash Gaming. Double Dash Gaming is the one who found this and he has a YouTube channel. So, I mean, you can go over to Reddit and hit that like, you know, upvote it. But go over to his channel and check him out. He makes a whole bunch of cool stuff. Go over to Double Dash Gaming's channel and check him out. Now, let's get into the details of what you want to do. Now, you always know when you're ship hunting, go over to your network. Make sure your multiplayer is disabled because this ship is crashed, which means it's there waiting for you. But if someone else is in your game or someone joins your game or if this planet is really popular, you might just run into people on the planet if you have multiplayer turned on. So turn it off. That way they don't take the ship right in front of you. And make sure you're in the Euclid Galaxy, the starter galaxy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're in the right place. Don't even worry about it. it you'll know if you go to a different galaxy or not. Believe me. So let's get in here. And we are going to do the court as soon as it lets me. Okay, activate the portal. Now we're going to put in these coordinates. So follow along with me. Weird face. Sunrise. The Trivial Pursuit sign. The Dragonfly. The Triforce. The Teepee. The Boat. The Starship. The uh, Trivial Pursuit sign. The uh, Bird. The Trivial Pursuit sign one more time. And the Weird Faith. Now, this is a crashed ship, which means you don't have to spend any money. But you need to know exactly where to go because there's only a specific place it's going to be. And we'll get to that on the other side of the uh, portal. And I'm going to show you a cool trick you can do with a crashed ship to get uh, infinite money and infinite nanites. So once you've landed on the other side, you're good to go. So we're going to go to a specific set of coordinates. Now, you might see a, uh, a communication station, a comm station, but you might not. So I'm going to give you the coordinates as well once we get there. So it's, I mean, for those of you who are just trying to get ahead of time, it is plus 4.30 and plus 137.47. But I would always recommend, hey, fly around a little bit, see what's going on, and then we are going to go get that ship. Now, oh, see, like me, I have a communication station here. It depends on which platform you're playing on. If you're on Xbox or PlayStation, you might not see one. So you're going to need to do it the hard way. I have, I'm on PC, so this is going to be a little bit easier for me. But it should be on every single platform. You just have to go to the specific coordinates. Let's get there. So here we are. I love it. And there it is. So I'm going to I'm going to land. I'm going to show you the coordinates. So if you're ever looking for coordinates, you can do it two different ways. The easiest way is while you're in your ship, if you go into first person, all the way over to the right to the gear or left to the gear icon, then go over to switch starship view. Now you're in first person, so you can see everything in here. And if you look over here on the left hand side, you'll always have some kind of display. It depends on which ship you have. It might change around a little bit, but the display will look the same. And you see right there, I'm at plus 4.32 and plus 137.43. So as I get closer, it'll get actually to the point where I was, or the coordinates I was telling you, but that's where you need to go. 
right around there. So let's get out. And if you're on foot, if you ever need to check a coordinates, pull up your uh, visor. So left trigger or L2 if you're on PlayStation 4 or 5. And you see over there on the right hand side, it says local data, current time. It gives you all the coordinates and all the information for the planet you're on. But it says current location plus 4.31 and plus 137.44. So that's how you know where you're at. And look at this baby right here. This is amazing. Now remember, it is a crashed ship, so it's totally free, but you're gonna have to fix it a little bit. You're gonna have to do some, you know, some, you know, mechanics to get it working. Let's get in here. Now you see all those are broken parts and anything with an exclamation is broken. So we have a good thruster and a good recharger, but everything else seems to be broken. That's okay, we're gonna need to fix our pulse engine and maybe even our uh, our shield, but you don't really need to do that. Basically, all you need is your uh, pulse engine. So let's compare. Now, the other limitation you have is you can only have six starships. You can only have six of them at a time. And so if you've reached your limit, like if you already have six, you're going to need to trade this. You're going to need to swap it. But because I only have five, I have room for one more so I can claim it. And see, either way, it's going to cost you zero dollars. But if you swap it, you have to trade in whatever ship you currently have. So keep that in mind. I'm never going to trade in my cool Razor's Edge. And so if you don't want to trade it, you're going to have to pull in another ship. You have to call in another ship. But we're going to claim it. There we go. Now it's ours. Let's get in. Oh, just in time. That rainstorm's coming in. So we need to fix our pulse engine in order to even fly away. So... Let's go into our menu. We we need to get a hermetic seal and a metal plating. If you've beat the tutorial, you have those recipes already. So the, the thing is, you're going to need to build them. So you need the items to build them. So hermetic seal, you're going to need 30 carbon. And metal plating, you're going to need 50 ferrite dust. Easy peasy. You should. Those are pretty basic stuff. So basic materials, I should say. So you should be able to do that. Now let's fix it. There you go. And there you go. Now we're good to go. We can take off and fly around with our cool new ship. And look at this inside the pod. I love the exotics because they always have these cool like dome, almost like a circular uh, orb kind of cockpit. I love it. Look at that. This is so cool. In, in VR, I bet you this is so rad. Look at that. Let's go out into uh, space real fast. There we go. And we're going to get a good shot of this thing. I always like doing it when you're in first person because it kind of glitches out. Look at that. That is a beautiful... Oh, let's move this sun a little bit. Get a good angle on this. Yeah. That is a beautiful ship. Look at that. And it's all yours completely free. An S-Class exotic completely free. I love it. So... Hopefully you guys make a ton of money doing this. You make a ton of nanites doing this. And you hit that like button for me. And I will see you guys next time.